There's one. There's a fish. I'm on. Holy! Good morning, everybody. I'm going to do a tournament this morning with my local kayak club, Low Country Kayak Anglers. The tournament is called Battle of Paradise, and it's and it's for the biggest redfish and the biggest sea trout, the total length. We're going to be out of um, Paradise Landing out in Awanda, just outside of Charleston. So all of the proceeds of this tournament go to the local chapter of Heroes on the Water. It's a program that takes out veterans and first responders kayak fishing, something that I participated in personally and really found value in it. I'm going to put some links here in my description if anybody's interested. I'm not sure if you'll have a local chapter, but if you are in Charleston, it's a great place to check out. So we're going to find some big reds, we're going to find some big trout. There's quite a few guys in the parking lot and uh, looks like there's going to be plenty of great local competition as always. So looking forward to this. Tough, this tide is so big. I'm seeing a lot of commotion right here on this grass line. Um, now I'm putting my spook right on the, on the grass. Behind you, you see some mullet that we're just fleeing. Right there's a hit. Come on, buddy. Hit it. You can do it. He's right underneath it. I just saw him. Yeah, just wouldn't commit. Short striking it or something. These crabs are cold, so I'm not scared about throwing my hand in there amongst them all. So I've got a line out right here on this point, and I've got a line on the grass line right behind me. They're both Carolina rigs with a chunk of crab on them. I got a hit. Is it on? Uh, rod just doubled over, but I didn't didn't take it. I was just straight dead stick in that thing. I just had that bait in the rod holder. Wasn't doing anything. And it's a big whiting. That's funny. All right, there's some good food. This little shot. Tide is like up and just about slack. But I would really like to catch a nice trout here. Um, we've got these big oyster mounds kind of in the middle and uh, these mounds are going to really attract fish as the water's coming over them. Um, right here there's a grass patch directly in front of me. That that patch is going to have some um, some oysters and stuff. It's just kind of an isolated area. A great place to pick a trout up. Even a redfish, but more trouty. There's one. It's definitely a definitely a trout. It's a good one. All right, right where you're supposed to be. That trout. My first trout. I don't have you on the board, so I'm gonna go ahead and net it. I need a trout. That's a decent trout, but you guys can see a decent, decent trout. I'm going to uh, not mess with it too, too much. I'm going to put it right on my measuring board here. See if I can't pull another one out of there. So I either do a straight retrieve if it's shallower water and I just want it in the middle of the column, or I'll let it set and sink and I'll give it some jiggles and then I'll let the rod bring it back to me and then I'll just reel down and let the rod pull it back to me. Oh, I'm kind of staying in contact with the bottom and it's just kind of dragging it. I might have spooked the fish off of this little spot. I'm going to go to the next isolated mound. I have to go in these creeks. There's a fish. He's on. Smaller trout. Could be red. 
Oh, small trout. Not as big as the first one, but right in front of that mound. Or technically, I think that's behind it because the current's changed directions. That's a 12, 13 inch fish right there. Now I'm gonna go up this creek to a dead ends and see if there are any redfish on the flat. Fish should be up here. We're gonna go see if we can target one of those to get one on the board. Looks good. There's a there's a wake right there on the other side of that grass mound. Put this on the point. Let's see if he'll hit it when he comes around. There's a fish. I'm on. Yeah, there's a red. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, that's sweet. Net it. Not taking any chances. You got it on that circle hook. It should be hooked well. Man, they are just not not showing themselves at all right now. I mean he was there but seriously? In my rudder? All right, I got it. Got him for you. That was something. There she is. All right. We are at 21 inches. Respectable. Really neat upgrade. That's one of each. So for my crab, I'm using a Carolina rig, which is a circle hook on about a foot or so of fluorocarbon leader. And then I'm tying on right here a swivel. And just above that on the braid is about um, either a half ounce, about a half ounce weight because it's very shallow. So this knot here I'm tying is called a uni knot, short for universal. Uh, it's pretty much a knot you can use for everything. It's a very strong knot. It's how I line the line most of the time and you can tie most of your mineral bait that way. Decent one, but not, uh, not an upgrade. Not on that point right there, that grass point. Uh, in a good spot. I don't think it's bigger than my other one. We can see they're drumming. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. Put it right where it's supposed to go. Looking at it, still got a bit of crab inside of it. A lot of crab meat. Put that right there. I think that's at the edge of the oysters. There's a fish. Feels like a good trout. Could be a redfish. Smaller redfish. Yeah. It's smaller, but it's another redfish. Got a fish on. Oh, all right. Feels like a good one. Yep, it's a good redfish. I'm gonna back up here a little bit. Quarter in the dock here. I'm still feeling it, but I'm feeling maybe something else. Oh, it's a heavy one. That's a heavy fish. Alright. Fighting like a big red. Staying down, taking some drag. Oh no, he came off. Oh, I think that was a big one. That was the one, guys. That was the one. Finally, this tide is a little bit lower out of the grass where I feel like these redfish are gonna be under these docks. It's just a matter of finding which one. You're gonna pull up this, this is a male crab. You're gonna pull up this bottom part here. Separate by putting your thumbs on the east side, just like this. You're gonna pull off that top shell. 
just like that. All right, that's chum. Now I'm gonna cut the crab up into quarters. I forgot my scissors, so I'm just making do with these pliers, unfortunately. I'm also gonna or cut off these uh, the leg. And now I'm hooking it by going through the leg hole and then down through the bottom of the shell, twisting and just kind of punching it through, being careful not to take up a lot of the space in the gap of the hook. All right, I'm on. Not ready to come in, man. These fish are so strong. Not even a very big one. Woo. Yeah, buddy. That's again on that crab. Half 21. My other one was 21. Exactly. This one's this one's also right at 20, almost 21 if I stretch it. 20 and a half. Alright. Going back in, right off the corner of that dock. There's a little bit of a drop off off the corner, and that's the only deep spot right there too. Heck, I was going to a different spot when I was uh, reeling that in. I was discouraged. <laughs> Look at that. Guys, there are some redfish around here. Right there in the middle. I'm gonna have to pull that fish out of there as soon as he hits. Maybe I'll put the uh, little overcast and I'm seeing these fish being really aggressive. Hitting the bank and all that. They're feeding hard. So I think a redfish will hit this right now. Most aggressive I've seen them feeding all day. A lot of activity. Look, both over there and over there at the same time, um, redfish just popped off. See if one will crush this top water here. Oh, big hit. Come on, dude. Hit it. Ah, redfish suck at top water. Those are some big hits. That was a good fish. Dang. Right here. So I'm gonna put this crab behind me. I just scared a redfish right there on the bank. That's all right, it's just one. Just one. I'm gonna put that right there. And I'm gonna throw up here for, holy! That is a big fish. Guys, this is a monster. I got. I haven't had a hit like that in, I don't know, never. What is this? Holy, that was insane. This is a big fish, guys. I don't even feel, I just feel weight. And he's off. <sighs> oh, my heart rate is going crazy. That was a 30 inch fish all day. All right, everybody. We started off the day with that 21 inch redfish and that 16 inch trout. Uh, we've caught a lot of fish today. We've been grinding, but we've been catching. We just haven't been able to upgrade, unfortunately. Two good opportunities and two really big fish that uh, I was, uh, it came off and it was broke off. It's always a good time with lots of very good fishermen. There's no way I'm gonna be even near the top with, with what I caught. Every year they bring it. With the full moon and high tide, just about everybody was struggling out there. But congratulations to my friend Rick McGee for uh, bringing home the number one and also top vet.